Welcome to Sports and Touring. Today we're hitting the road to meet a bunch of cars to go on another convoy. This time through the Cheddar Gorge and then down to a really picturesque point at Portland Bill where there's this incredible lighthouse. And when I first went there, Damani said it kind of reminds him of the end of the Need for Speed movie. For the first time ever, I've managed to get my son, Damani, insured on the car. So he's going to drive the first part of this journey. I'm really looking forward to it, really excited. I can't say that I am because the last time he drove me in a car... <laughs> <laughs> right, let's hit the road. Get down to the first meeting point at Breen Beach. Oh my god, you can't see a thing out of your rear window. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> So, seeing as it's an on ramp, I'm going to have to get up to the yeah. speed. Go, go, go. Oh, that's I'm a little bit nervous. And there's no good reason for me to be nervous. <laughs> We're just cruising along on the motorway. Then some car will move out in front of us. If I was driving, it wouldn't bother me. And I'm just thinking, has he seen it? Has he seen it? Has he seen it? Okay, he's seen it. <laughs> I'm just sitting there trying to be calm. You know, every time a car goes past, I'm just like, ah! On the inside. So that reminds me of what? Jeremy Clarkson, when he made that quadricycle thing, which had like a hood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and anytime Laurie would drive past him, he'd just be like, no! Ah! <laughs> Shut out, man! <laughs> so I can imagine you're like on the inside. So everything's normal, normal, normal. Something of vehicles. They are. Like, ah! <laughs> Shame that the sun isn't out because it would make some amazing photos. Thank God, touch woods. Hopefully, for the time <laughs> being, the rain has stayed in the clouds, so we'll see what happens. Well, the weather didn't last. We're sitting on the beach. It is pouring, absolutely pouring, but that jag. Mean. Mean as F. I want one. <laughs> Do you know what, honestly, I've never really been that crazy about those cars, but seeing what I've, he's done with that one makes yeah. me want that. I've always wanted one of those, the XKRS, that generation. You've always been a fan of the F-Type. Yeah. I've always thought, what's the point of going for an F-Type you can go for one of those? <laughs> So um, we've just decided to start parking our cars just along the waterfront here it's for some amazing pictures. It looks really, really good. Right, so uh, Damani's just gone to get some shots of the cars rolling out. We're about to leave the beach. We've got some interesting cars here. An R34, an R35. We've got this Jaguar XKR slammed on bag. Oh, thank goodness for the lifts. Oh! <laughs> 
my soul. That, that hurt my, my soul. soul. Oh. I thought it would make it. <laughs> oh. 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 That was pretty bad, wasn't it? That didn't sound good, like. No. spectacular really because like the mist coming from all the greenery yeah above you won't be able to see it too much because you have to think driving but from a passenger it's crazy shut down the petrol station. Uh, there's no room for any other cars at the moment. We've got the crazy sounding XKR there. R8 is just absolutely sick. And roadside maintenance. What happened? They got a puncture, so they're just putting a space saver on for now. We'll probably be back on the road in a few minutes and heading over to get some lunch at Montague, Mont Montague Mansion. Oh, yes. I can't remember. Like some mansion somewhere. Yeah. And then we're gonna head down to Portland Bill. So we just got to Montecute House. Yeah, we're just going to stop, have some lunch, and then I'm going to be taking the drive down to Portland Bill. I don't know if we're going anywhere anytime soon because yep. I'll, I'll go sideways wherever we're going. I don't mind. I don't know if I I'm, want you I'm to drive this way though. I don't know. It's fine. We can just go sideways. We'll still make it. No. Yeah, we don't know what we're going to do. I'm sure we're going to go at some point, but uh, I think we're going to wait for the weather to, to calm down a little bit. So we've just finished eating. The rain has stopped, thank goodness. We are now about to hit the road. Uh, Damani's gonna do this leg. I'll probably do the last leg. Then we'll be saying goodbye to everyone. I get to do a bit of driving, which I'm very excited about. I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm not nervous at all. Not at all? Not even slightly.
Antimani's a great driver. I know he's driven cars around racetracks like Spa. I don't know, I'm not used to being in the passenger seat. You know what seat. it is? It's, it's a mixture of so many different factors. One, this is your car that your son is driving. Yes. Let alone someone else. Yes. Which almost makes it worse that it's your son driving it. Yes. Because of father emotions and all that. Yes. Whatever car I drive, you always get scared in the passenger seat. Even when I was doing 40 miles an hour in my 75 horsepower Golf, he was starting to ask me to slow down <laughs> when I was trying to get onto the M25. But it's good. I think it's a good learning curve for him to ease into me uh, doing more stuff like this. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe this is the last time he ever lets me drive it. I don't know. I don't know. That was really uncomfortable. I won't lie. Oh, we have a tunnel. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>